Hi, I'm Steve Turnbull, author of most of the stories of the Void Ships universe. And this is the non-spoilery Q&A for that universe. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below or send me an email. OK. This is going to be a contentious question. Is the Void Ships universe steampunk or diesel punk? Because I have steam engines, I also have diesel engines. OK, so the answer to that question is more complicated than it perhaps ought to be. And it is, of course, yes and no. Or yes or no. Yes and no, definitely. OK, let's talk history. A lot of my stuff ends up being history. If you go to the Paleolithic period, when people used to make stuff out of stone, flint, so they had flint knives, flint axes, flint swords, they found flint swords in Denmark. Um, well, shortly after that, oh, there's Neolithic as well, of course, um, you got the Bronze Age. And then after that, you got the Iron Age and so forth. Except things didn't change suddenly overnight. You know, somebody somewhere figured out how to make bronze. They had some copper, they had some tin, they mixed them together. Oh, that's quite strong. That's a new metal. That's bronze. That would have been an industrial secret for that family or for that area. So for a long time, you'd have somebody be making bronze stuff, but everybody else would still be making stone stuff. I mean, stone stuff is so easy. You just have to pick it off the ground, knock it around a bit. Works perfectly. Um, but after a while, people would have discovered what the secret of bronze was. Uh, maybe there was some industrial es espionage. Um, and so bronze making spread and eventually replaced stones as the primary material for making weapons and other stuff. Come the Iron Age, again, not a complete sudden change, exactly the same process. Somebody figures out that, well, if you melt iron and you, then you start cooling it and you hit it a lot, it's a hell of a lot stronger than bronze. And that would have been a secret and eventually it would have spread, blah, 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 blah. But again, for a long time, some people making bronze, some people making iron, possibly some people still do it, still in the Stone Age, frankly. Um, so these things overlap. So if you come up to the Victorian period, you've got the steam engines. And then, what was it, 1880-ish, um, diesel, invented his diesel engine, um, which, to be perfectly honest, wasn't incredibly efficient in the first place. Steam was always more efficient from that viewpoint. Um, but for a long time, they coexisted. Now, of course, I'm talking about the Void Ships universe. And because of the Faraday effect, giving them anti-gravity, and because of all sorts of other things, the British culture became thoroughly stuck on steam. I say that, but actually there are a couple of diesel um, aircraft flown and created by British companies, but we'll leave that aside for the moment. Um, so you come along, comes on Zeppelin, comes on the other airship makers, and diesel engines are lighter than steam engines for the most part. So even with anti-gravity, it still makes sense to use diesel. But they all exist at the same time. So if it's a question of whether the Void Ships universe is steampunk or diesel punk, the answer is yes, it is both. OK, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, stick them in the comments. Thanks very much. Bye. Red fleshy battery. That was better. Is it my present? Uh, not that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, that one.